Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. In this video I'm going to talk about somatic cells hybrids. And here is a problem. By examining a number of somatic cell hybrid lines for enzymes activities and their human chromosome constitution, scientists can determine. And here is the five answers to choose from. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So what is a, a somatic hybrid? Somatic hybrid is when we use one somatic cell of uh, one animal and we hybridize with a somatic cell of the other animal. With special chemicals we disrupt this outer uh, double lipid layer and these two cells would fuse. For example, one cell can be human, another one can be rodent. And of course, uh, somatic cells means that this is any cells in our organism except sex cells that would be haploid. And uh, in males, sex cells would be sperm, and in females, this would be egg cell. So we just use any cell. This can be skin cell from human, and this can be skin cell from rodent, uh, mice. So uh, after we hybridize these uh, two cells, we are going to get a hybrid that would have uh, one nucleus. Nucleus also would uh, hybridize and uh, in nucleus we would find uh, both uh, chromosomes from the human and uh, we also would find uh, also chromosomes from the uh, mice. So this is going to be a nucleus with uh, two types of the chromosomes. And uh, we making this um, hybrids and we are going to get uh, different cell lines. Uh, why we need many hybrids? Because uh, we are going to get different number of chromosomes in each because uh, humans and rodents are related distantly and uh, not all the chromosomes we can find in the nucleus of the uh, hybrid cell and uh, usually humans chromosomes would be lost and most of the chromosomes that can be found uh, in the nucleus of such hybrid cell would be from the rodent. Now imagine that we know that uh, such a genetic disorder as Tay-Sachs uh, caused by uh, enzyme, uh, HEX-A enzyme or hex enzyme, but we don't know on which uh, human chromosome we can uh, find this uh, gene. And now when we hybridize uh, these cell lines, we got uh, information that uh, here we have chromosome number 1, 15 and uh, 18 left. So usually in uh, human and mice hybrid, uh, human chromosome would be lost and only few would be left. And uh, here in the next cell line we have chromosome 15 and we have chromosome uh, 11 and uh, 9. And in the last cell line we have, for example, uh, such chromosome as uh, 2 and chromosome 6 and chromosome 15. And all these three lines uh, would produce human hexaexime and uh, as you see, uh, in these cell lines we have uh, chromosome 1, 15 and 18, but here we don't have neither 1 nor 18. But still, uh, this uh, enzyme would be produced, so we can eliminate probability that this is, uh, would be located on chromosome 1 and 18. And... Uh, in the next cell line, we have chromosomes 2, 6, and 15. So we also can 
say that this uh, enzyme is not located on the chromosome 11 and 9 and we also can say that it is not located on the chromosome 2 and 6 because here we can find this enzyme but there is no chromosome 2 and 6 left in this cell line and the same is uh, here but we see that in all three cell lines we can find chromosome number 15 and we can now say for sure that this enzyme located on the chromosome 15. So now we can return to our answers and we can choose the correct answer. Let's start from the end of this list. Answer E. Scientists cannot determine any of these things and this is not true or they wouldn't use this uh, somatic cell hybrid technique. Answer D. The number of human chromosomes in each cell and this uh, only on the part true because we uh, do have to find number of human chromosomes left in each hybrid cell but this is only part of our answer so we can cross out this uh, answer also answer C is the number of chromosomes in human genome and this is not what we are looking for with this technique because we know that human genome consists of 46 uh, chromosomes or 23 pairs of chromosomes for about 70 years and, and as you see we left with only two answers answer b the number of genes for in enzymes in the human genome and with this technique we also cannot find the number of genes we can find number of genes by producing uh, such experiments where we um, have to find full transcriptome or all the genes that produce message RNAs by uh, producing such experiments where we can find a full proteome or we can uh, analyze full protein content of the cells and of course uh, the latest uh, would be findings in uh, whole genome sequencing when we use uh, bioinformatics in order to find in the DNA all the possible genes that would be expressed or would be active. So this is not the technique that we use. So uh, what we can find with uh, somatic cell hybrids on which human chromosome the gene for particular enzymes is located. So our answer would be A. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.